Here with head wrestling coach Dave Malachek as we preview the 2017 Candlewood Suites duels. The duels will take place Saturday, uh, December 2nd, starting at 9 a.m. in Mitchell Hall Fieldhouse. Nine teams here, six of them are ranked. First, coach, let's talk about the sponsor first. You've had this Candlewood Suites here since 2009. Your record, 24 and 3 in those duels. Let's just talk about Candlewood Suites and what it means to them to be to have them as a sponsor of the right. event. Right? Yeah, Dave, it's it's awesome to have Candlewood Suite on board. Uh, helping our teams that come into town and, and have numerous places to choose from uh, for hotel, but they choose Candlewood Suites, and they, they've been a great sponsor and a big supporter of UW Lacrosse Wrestling. Let's talk about this. Uh, nine teams, like we mentioned, six of them are ranked. Yeah. Let's just talk about how you got this many <laughs> teams that come to the uh, invite. Right, well, we feel it's a quality uh, competition. It's one of the best. Dave, here before Christmas break, gives uh, every team that's coming, these nine teams, really a a measuring stick to see where they're at uh, heading into the Christmas break. You know, our season's pretty long, 19 weeks long, and it covers over two holiday seasons with Thanksgiving and Christmas. But you really want to kind of get see where you're at the end of that first semester, heading before Christmas break and finals. And so what a great test to come here at UWL. Nine quality teams, even those three teams that aren't ranked in the top 20, they're pretty uh, quality teams there with, you know, Elmhurst and Stevens Point and uh, everywhere in Cornell College. They all have some ranked guys in the nation, so it's going to be a tough day of wrestling. Well, it starts off right away at 9 o'clock with uh, 17th ranked UB Lacrosse, and you're facing number one Warford College. Let's talk about that match right away starting Saturday. Yeah, it was great. As coaches, we get to pick who we want to wrestle, and I asked our team off the get-go, I said, hey, who do you guys want to see? And they all, it was unanimous. They go, we want to we want wrestle Warford, get an opportunity to see where we're at. Like I said earlier, it's a measuring stick. They're defending national champs and, and uh, great opportunity. We've wrestled some of their guys in the open tournaments at Luther. We're defeated uh, by their guys. So we got we to gotta make up some ground. We got to get better. And, and what a great way. I mean, yeah, it's a duel. There's nothing really on the line besides a win-loss in the duel. But great opportunity for our guys to move up in the rankings, to, to go out and battle with the best team in the nation. So we're really looking forward to that first duel at 9 o'clock. Uh, UWL will then have a bye in the second round, which starts at 10.30. Yeah. You'll come back at noon and take on Concordia of Minnesota, the ranked 21st. And then at 1.30, you'll take on Cornell College. Uh, talk about, first of all, what that bye will do for you in that second match. Yeah, that bye is, is huge for us. It gives us an opportunity. We'll get a match in at 9 o'clock right away against Warburg College. You're going to have about an hour and a half break before we get a chance to wrestle Concordia. Gives our guys a little bit of a break to regroup, uh, to be positive, to get excited about the next match, get our scouting done for the next round, which we've already seen Concordia a little bit. But really, it's big to have that break before Concordia. Concordia is now in our new upper Midwest regional. Uh, they're going to be at our national qualifier, so it's really important for us that next duel right after Wartburg is to uh, to wrestle them and then get right back into it and have that fourth round against Cornell College and end the day on a high note wrestling them. Let's talk about your team right now. You've had a couple weeks off with the Thanksgiving break, but just talk about where you think your team's at right now. Yeah, I think the biggest thing, Dave, is we really haven't scratched the surface with these guys yet. You know, we started the season unranked and then not even in the top 30, and then the next ranking we came out, we were 17th. and. Start the season, we'd have anybody ranked in the top 10. Now we got maybe two, three guys ranked in the top 10. So it's just we gradually keep uh, uh, gathering steam as we get moving forward. And, and this team, uh, it's all new faces. If you look up and down our lineup, we got new guys in almost every weight class uh, except heavyweight. I mean, we've got uh, and, and maybe a little bit of 157. Uh, we've had some solid guys uh, solidify themselves there at 157. But it's a new team. You, you don't know what to expect when they step out there, but I, I do know they've been very consistent. They're training the last two weeks, getting ready for this weekend. We have this marked on our calendar, but as I told our guys, Dave, that we don't make this a bigger deal than it is. I won't allow our coaches to, our athletes. We got to go out and wrestle the best that we can, and, and we'll see where we stand. Uh, the field, the, the field house will host this uh, Candlewood Suites. Yep. We've done that in the past. Just talk about the setup that you have in the gym with the JV matches going on as well. Yeah, it's a unique atmosphere. You know, we're gonna have seven mats going in there. There's gonna be four mats going with uh, varsity duels going on those four mats. Bleachers, you're gonna have really close seating. You can get right in the action. And then also on the other three mats, a lot of teams are bringing extra guys uh, to get exhibition or JV matches in at the other end. And the nice thing about that is you can mix and match a little bit. They might wrestle in a varsity duel down in one of the mats, but then they could go down and get some matches down at the exhibition. So really trying to accommodate all these teams uh, that come here. We want to treat them the right way so they keep coming back, but it's just overall great competition. And let's talk about, let's just look ahead a little bit to December 8th. we got a unique thing with Luther yeah. College coming up from Decorah. We're going to wrestle in the Student Union. Talk about that for a second. Yeah, you know, we've, uh, we were real excited about every time we walk over the Student Union and an opportunity to see that beautiful facility, that new $52 million facility. We're like, hey, first thing when it opened up a year ago, I walked over there, Coach Cook said, why can't we wrestle in here? And so we've, we've changed our dual site from uh, Mitchell Hall over to the Student Union. 
on second floor in the Granddad Bluffs Ballroom, I do believe it's called. And we're gonna have really tight seating in there. There's gonna be big screens going, live video stream of everything. It'll be a packed house against a really good Luther team. So come over uh, Friday, December 8th in the Student Union and uh, come upstairs in that second floor and you're gonna see a packed house for a Luther duel. Thanks, Coach. Again, the Kennewood Suites duels is December 2nd, this Saturday. Uh, action starts at 9 o'clock. Again, six of the nine teams are ranked. There's also 23 individuals that are ranked. Good luck, Coach. Thanks, Dave.